Hello. Uh, yes, in this video, I'm going to do a demonstration on how to use SPSS to compute uh, the confidence interval for the mean differences for two matched samples. Uh, as we have discussed in our lecture, uh, the formula for the uh, paired sample um, confidence interval is shown here. So d bar might plus minus t r over 2 s d over square root of n, all right? Um, of course, we can use this formula and do some hand calculation to compute the confidence interval. But um, if we have SPSS, then we can also do it using SPSS. So here's a, a hypothetical uh, pre and post test data set. Uh, so you get the ID. You get the pre-test uh, scores and you get the post-test scores. All right. So we want to compute a confidence interval for the mean differences of the pre-test mean and the post-test mean. So all you need to do is to go to analyze, compare means, and paired sample t-test. So then here. You can select pre and click the arrow. It will go to variable one. You select post, click the arrow. It goes variable two. And here you have the options. Uh, so here you can see there's the option for you to change the confidence interval percentage. So the default is 95%. But if you want a 90% or 80% or 99%, confidence interval, you can just change the level of confidence here. It also gave you a choice for handling missing values. The default is exclude cases analysis by analysis, or you can exclude uh, cases list-wise. All right, so we're going to use the default. And then you just click OK. Then you can see uh, the output. It shows uh, some uh, descriptive statistics about the sample mean, sample size, standard deviation, standard error of the mean. And then it also compute a correlation um, and also provide a p-value for testing if the true correlation is zero or not. But here, uh, in the paired sample test table, we can see uh, it has the uh, lower and upper 95% confidence interval of the difference. Okay, and for this case, since we we're computing, remember we're computing pre minus post. So it looks like the uh, true mean difference of the pre minus the post uh, is negative. And the confidence interval, um, you know, the zero is to the right of this confidence interval. So it is uh, a statistically significant difference. The, uh, pre-test mean is lower than the post-test mean. All right, that concludes this example.